Sam, women's sports are the main attraction at the bar. That's why it's called the sports bra. But inside, it's an inclusive community led by its queer owner. At the sports bra in Portland, Oregon, it's all about support. Sports bras are optional, but women's sports are not. And acceptance isn't either. We don't have very many queer spaces or like queer safe spaces mm -hmm. that, are, that feel like they're made for us here or even in the entire country. This bar is the first to only air women's sports. Owner Jenny Nguyen came out to her parents when she was 17. For me, playing basketball was my safety blanket from having to come out. I got to the point where I remember when I was 17, I was like, I, I can't do this anymore. Um, kind of like that double life. And so I was laying in bed and I remember looking at my digital clock and it said like 10.58 at night. I go, okay, at 11.05, I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna go upstairs, and I'm gonna tell my parents I'm gay. Now this bar is a safe space for her and others. Yeah. What brought you here? Uh, the idea of coming and being able to watch sports with a room full of women and not having to battle with men to watch men's sports. <laughs> for the first time, this group of Seattle Storm fans can watch a game at a bar. To have a space that's showing stuff that specifically we are interested in is really special to have access to. They're big Jenny fans, too. I saw you over there and I went, <laughs> Across this bar, representation, while moving the conversation forward. We have a side of equity, and people can order that, add it to their tab, and at the end of the month or the week, I total it up and I donate all of it. During June and July, we're kind of focusing on transgender rights. Why is it important, especially now, to wrap your arms around that community? Trans women and girls are women and girls. And so we believe that everyone deserves a chance to participate in sports. It may be a sports bar, but what's happening here is bigger than sports. This week, Nguyen started fundraising for the Voice of Sports Foundation Side of Equity campaign. It seeks to close the pay gap for female athletes. The foundation says all donations will be given to the athletes competing at this year's Women's World Cup. Sam? That Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.